Congratulations on your new addition. Thank you for allowing Palmetto Health Richland to care for you and your family during this exciting time. Now that your baby has been delivered safely in your arms, you are probably wondering how to care for your new bundle of joy. Our hospital has been designated as baby friendly. This means that we provide our patients with extensive breastfeeding support and education, encourage skin to skin contact, and minimize separation of mother and baby by allowing rooming in, which means that your baby will stay in your room during your entire hospital stay. This allows for cue-based feeding and helps prepare new mothers for caring for their newborn at home. We encourage your support person to stay overnight with you to share the care of your newborn and allow for bonding. You will notice that your baby has a security tag on his or her ankle. This is called a hugs tag and is in place to protect your baby during your stay in the hospital. This tag will alarm if baby was to venture near any open stairwells or elevators. If you are transporting your baby back and forth from special care nursery, you will notice that there is a line on the floor near the back elevators. Please stay close to the wall on the other side of the line to avoid setting off our infant security alarm. If you are a patient in our nesting place as a couplet where your baby stays with you all of the time, then your baby should never have to leave your sight. The exception to this would be when your pediatrician comes to assess your baby. In most cases, this will be done in our exam room. The other instance is during a circumcision. Anyone that takes or returns your baby should have a name badge with a pink background and verify and match the numbers on yours and your baby's bracelet. We encourage safe sleep habits for SIDS prevention. You will notice that your room has a bassinet where baby will sleep. Babies should sleep on their backs on a firm mattress away from pillows, stuffed animals, and heavy blankets. Please avoid sleeping with your newborn here in the hospital. We encourage you to feed your baby based on their hunger cues rather than by the clock. Hunger cues include sucking hands, opening mouth, and looking to the side, smacking of the lips. Your baby should feed about 8 to 12 times in a 24-hour period. We encourage you and your partner to do skin-to-skin -skin with your newborn, placing baby directly on your chest. This helps to regulate the baby's body temperature, heart rate, breathing, glucose levels, and aids in breastfeeding success. Lactation consultants are on staff to assist with breastfeeding. We encourage you to record baby's urine and stool output, as well as feeding times, amounts, and lengths in your breastfeeding or formula feeding law. Your baby will receive an injection of vitamin K shortly after birth, usually within four hours. This injection is given routinely to prevent serious complications that can arise from a deficiency in blood clotting factors. The erythromycin or eye ointment is also usually given within this time frame to prevent newborn blindness associated with maternal vaginal infections that can sometimes be undiagnosed during pregnancy due to the lack of outward symptoms. Bathing of your newborn will not occur until at least six hours of birth. This allows your baby time to regulate his or her body temperature and glucose levels. In cases where glucose screening is needed, a bath will not be completed until after all glucose screening is completed, which could be 12 to 24 hours. Once your baby reaches at least 24 hours of age, certain examinations, procedures, and medications will be completed. One such examination is the newborn hearing screen. Every year, approximately 12,000 babies born in the United States have a significant hearing loss at birth. More than half of babies born with hearing problems are otherwise healthy and have no family history of hearing loss. To ensure every baby with hearing loss is identified, South Carolina hospitals screen babies. Normal hearing is crucial to the development of normal language and speech. One such testing required by DHEC is the newborn metabolic testing. Newborn screening is a blood test that checks for hidden health disorders in newborn babies. All babies are tested soon after birth for several genetic and chemical problems. Tests are done on a small sample of baby's blood. 
This blood is taken by pricking the baby's heel. The blood is sent to a DHEC laboratory for testing. If a problem is discovered, early testing can give baby the chance for a healthy life. Critical congenital heart disease, or CCHD, represents a group of heart defects that cause serious, life-threatening symptoms and requires intervention within the first days or first year of life. CCHD is often treatable if detected early. It can encompass abnormalities in the rhythm of the heart, as well as a wide array of structural heart problems. Some babies affected with CCHD can look and act healthy at first, but within hours or days after birth, they can have serious complications. Pulse oximetry newborn screening is a non-invasive test that measures how much oxygen is in the blood and can help to identify babies that may be affected with CCHD before they leave the hospital. If detected early, infants affected with CCHD can often be treated and lead longer, healthier lives. Your baby's bilirubin levels may be checked during your hospital stay. After birth, the level of bilirubin in the baby's blood increases over the first few days. In normal circumstances, the level would then decrease as bilirubin is secreted in urine and stool. High bilirubin levels result in jaundice. If the bilirubin is allowed to get too high, it can make the baby very sick. This is why we test all babies. We have the ability to easily treat this condition before the bilirubin gets to dangerous levels. A non-invasive test to measure bilirubin level is done at or after 24 hours after birth by placing a light on the baby's forehead that looks through the skin. If the bilirubin level is too high, then a blood test is done. You and your baby's condition may prompt earlier testing. Premature babies, for example, are monitored more frequently because their livers aren't as mature, which can result in higher bilirubin levels. The typical treatment for jaundice is phototherapy. The baby lies on a blanket with ultraviolet lights wearing only a diaper and a mask placed over the eyes for protection. Overhead UV lights may be used as well. The need for treatment is common. 33 to 50% of newborns are jaundiced and half of those will need treatment. High bilirubin levels may extend your baby's hospital stay. Before you are discharged home, you will be given a pamphlet explaining how to care for your newborn at home. This pamphlet will address topics such as caring for your baby's umbilical cord, skin care, newborn safety, taking your baby's temperature, how to deal with your baby's cries, SIDS prevention, feeding, and diapering. The pamphlet will also address what to call baby's pediatrician for. Congratulations on the birth of your baby. Thank you for allowing us to care for you and your growing family here at Richland.